Hi guys, um, my name is San Jacob Tam, a consultant cardiologist. Uh, today I wanted to uh, discuss a very interesting study which may give hope to a lot of people who suffer from ectopic heartbeats. Um, as part of my work I come across a ton of people and a ton of people who watch this channel complain of ectopic heartbeats. Um, and I say to them, look, they're not dangerous, like every other doctor says to them. I talk to them about things like magnesium and the benefits of reassurance and breathing exercises and good lifestyle. But a lot of people continue to struggle with this and their question then is, what else is out there? Right? We're doing all this, we're doing all the lifestyle stuff, this is awful what can we do next and a lot of people get given beta blockers by their doctors and beta blockers carry some side effects and a lot of people that feel reluctant to take beta blockers or don't tolerate beta blockers so i wanted to discuss a really interesting study which may give hope to people who have ectopics in particular with regards to a medication that is actually in preliminary studies has been shown to be very effective in reducing ectopic beats okay so the, the, the paper was published in a journal called International Journal of Angiology. It was published in 2016 and it, the lead author is Gary Murray. Okay, And basically what he wanted to do, uh, what they did was they took a bunch of people with ectopics, 59 people, okay, very small study, 59 people with ectopics uh, which were bothering these patients. Okay, And they did a halter before and they did a halter after giving them a medication known as ranolazine. Ranolazine is a medication which is actually commonly available. It's used as an anti-anginal, but it is also known to have some anti-arrhythmic effects. So it can help with heart rhythm disorders, although it's not used for that. Anyway, so what they did was they gave these patients, these 59 patients with symptomatic ectopics, they gave them um, ranolazine at a dose of 500 or 1000 milligrams. Okay, now this is an off-label use. This is not why ranolazine is commonly used so it was used off-label so to speak and what they did was they then repeated the halter to try and find out whether a um, people felt better right? their symptomatic sensation of palpitations got better but secondly whether their ectopic burden got less on the monitor and the results were remarkable again very very small study but remarkable results okay um, it would be true to say that out of 59 56 patients uh, had their PVCs reduced, okay, and commensurate was, with that was that they actually felt better. In terms of numbers of these 56, 24%, um, 14 out of 59 patients had a more than 90% decrease in their PVCs. 34% of these patients, 20 out of 59, had a 70 to 90% decrease, and 17% uh, of them had a 50 to 70 percent decrease. So in the entire group, uh, ranolazine reduced PVCs by about 20, well, by about 71 percent. Okay, those people who had ventricular bigeminy, and those the ventricular bigeminy was reduced by ranolazine by about 80 percent. Um, and also people who had ventricular couplets, which are two ectopics in a row, which can be very troublesome, they were reduced by 78%. And it seemed that the reduction in the PVCs not only correlated with the patient's symptoms, which was also dose dependent. So um, this is a very small study, very early days, um, but I think it offers great hope uh, because the risk of side effects was extremely low. Uh, a few people call, complained of dizziness and nausea or headache and sometimes constipation, but there were no dangerous complications as a result of taking this medication. The great news is this medication is out there. It's, freely, it's easily available in hospitals. People have access to it. So it's not an experimental medication. It's just being used in a different way to what it's licensed to do. So uh, come and join me on my Facebook page and I'll put a link uh, for this study on it. My Facebook page can be accessed by at yourcardiologist.com. Uh, also, please consider joining my WhatsApp uh, group uh, and um, uh, visiting my website, which is www.sentjacobtechcardiologist.com. I'm also on Instagram as Your Cardiology. So I hope you found this useful. I am very grateful for everything you say and do for me. Thank you so much. Bye.